I give myself permission to be the person that I want to be in this particular stage of my life, even when what I want is not in reach. And then you just cup your hand and you hug yourself, dude, because you're trying so hard. So in this new moon, I feel it's the perfect time for us to kind of release certain things to project into this new era of our lives. My birthday is September 17th. The new moon was yesterday. It is now the 15th. And this is just already a really reflective time in my life. I'll be turning 29. I've already expressed what the year 29 will mean for me, but I'm a Virgo and i am already super internal i have a really big dialogue in my mind i'm always constantly thinking about what's next and some people call it overthinking but i just don't know anything else but this processing of this life and underneath the new moon i just had this thought or this download of giving myself permission Give yourself permission. There's a lot of things that I want to do and I want to accomplish in this life. There are so many people that I look up to and I'm in the era in my life where I just want to be all that I am capable of because life is short, right? I want to see everything that I could actually do and experience and all that I'm capable of in this time now. And I don't want to waste any more time. And another major blockage is that Outside of wanting these things, there's something inside of me that has not given myself permission to actually act upon everything that I want to do. It could be this fear of failure, this fear of rejection, this something in my mind, and maybe it's not even me. Maybe there's a younger version of me that has always wanted certain things, but because I had to live on a single parent household or just my mom was doing the best that she can, I didn't want to go outside of what she was capable of. I just didn't want things. I already told myself no. I had this conditioning of telling myself no before even trying and seeing and now that I'm an adult, I mean, we are all adults, hopefully, if you're looking at this, you're of age, because I be cursing. But um, you have to be the parent in your own life to actually live out what you're meant to. And sometimes you just have to reach a point in your awareness where you're not allowing your development and what your own parents' barriers are into your future into yourself i wasn't allowed to do things as a child right i wasn't allowed to do things under my mother's jurisdiction but now that i have full autonomy over myself i can't allow my parents perception to interfere with what i need and want for myself and to even put that on my life is the easy way out if I claim all of the blockages that I've experienced when I was younger into this new era of my life, I'm quitting before I ever started. But because it doesn't necessarily look like quitting, because it actually looks like you still want what you want, you're just not going to give it to yourself because you have this fear. It's it's even worse. It's like a, a narcissist, like a a covert narcissist. They're great, they're amazing, they're fun, but only very few people know what type of manipulation it takes to actually be a, 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 a narcissist and you're, you're doing it to yourself. You know exactly what you want. You're gaslighting yourself and you're putting your own self down. And because it's going to take you to pull yourself out of this situation, it takes more real conversations with yourself. I had to have a conversation about the things that I really wanted. I made a list and after I made that list, I tried to decide what was standing in my way. And when I realized I couldn't write down anything, that was what let me know that I was standing in my way the whole time. I have every resource 
to make a change in my life. I've had, I've have accumulated so many things to live the life that I actually want to live, which is ultimately be a creator, right? The difference between where I'm at now and where I want to be is the things that I tell myself and the lack of permission I give to fully exist in the life that I want to. So if you are someone in your life that is trying to bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be, I ask that you give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to actually try consistently enough. Give yourself permission to fail. Give yourself permission to be okay if others see. Give yourself permission to want more than what you have right now. Give yourself permission to love without the fear and the damage from your past. Give permission to honor yourself in situations where you feel like your boundaries have been completely crossed. Like, I think because I'm someone that is so dead set on trying to say the best thing that's helpful or trying to be the most helpful to others, I am in a sense, trying to be perfect or the best version of myself. And that just really doesn't make sense. And I have to give myself permission to show up authentically, no matter what it looks and not be ashamed. If that is not perfect. Today, I wasn't going to make a video. My birthday's coming up. I, I can't do my eyebrows. I need my lashes done. I just feel not myself. But giving myself permission to show up and realize that I don't need any of those things to be who I am. And now that's great. And I love getting cute, right? You want to put your best foot foot forward, but my best foot in being who I am starts here outside of the mask or outside of the shell that it exists in. I made a contract with God, I believe, to be an employer and live out my life as a representation of being fully submissive to a divine source and allowing that to carry me into a, a certain life. Now, in order to take a step forward, I have to be obedient and I can't abandon myself and my mission and my job just because of this fear of people seeing it, you know? And I think, like I said, m my journey is all about the hard part of getting to where you want to be. And it's easier said than done because I have to also face these hard conversations and face these hard parts about actually doing the work. But giving yourself permission, actually being consistent enough to try is only a part of the journey. And you may look crazy and you may look out there. I truly feel like I'm stuck in this hell of my mundane task that I actually need to support myself because... It starts with being obedient to a presence that until I get that down consistently, I'm not going to exist in God's purpose for me. So I want you to raise your hand. Either one, it really doesn't matter. And I want you to say I and your name like I do it. I give myself permission to enjoy a life that I want. I give myself permission to exist and take up space. I give myself permission to love and accept myself truly for who I am. I give myself permission to try. I give myself permission to fail. I give myself permission to love and give that love to myself. I give myself permission to be the person that I want to be in this particular stage of my life, even when what I want is not in reach. And then you just cup your hand and you hug yourself, dude, because you're trying so hard. And no matter what it looks like, you can wake up and feel like 
it's totally a waste of time. But as long as you show up, you showed up. I think when it comes down to like being your best self or like showing up as that, scripting and showing up and being that, you assume that you have to feel 100% every time and that is not the case. It's two days before my birthday. I would think that I would feel on 97 leading up to the, to the day, I feel 45, right? <laughs> I feel like my levels are 45, but that's not gonna stop me showing up. And I hope that what I'm saying is just a little boost or a little something real enough to kickstart you into doing that thing that you said that you were gonna do today. Um, so before the day ends, give yourself permission and keep doing that every single day and hit me up in like three months and see if being consistent and showing up in a certain way just feels a lot more easier than it used to be. And um, yeah, that's all that I wanted to say today. This is my second post of the week. I feel good. I just left work. I'm about to run some errands and I just felt that was so strongly on my heart that I needed to express that. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, night, or wherever you're at. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.